Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and today is the last episode of Rapid Reviews and we are taking a look at some more camera gear. This is a 50mm prime lens from Yongnuo. Yes, this is a knockoff of the all-time popular Canon 50mm, also known as the Nifty 50. This lens is designed for Canon EF mount DSLRs and APS-C type DSLRs but I believe there is also an icon version that you can get. So right off the bat, although this lens is made out of plastic, it does feel quite okay in the hand but I wouldn't expect it to sustain drops so if you are planning on picking one up, be careful when using it. First, I want to get the negatives out of the way. So the biggest downside of this lens has to be its autofocus. I'd say it's pretty much useless for video. It takes a lot of time to get the focus right and the motor also makes quite a lot of noise when focusing. So if you really need autofocus, this lens, I guess, isn't for you. The second negative of this lens is that because it is a Chinese knockoff, you don't get any warranty with it. So if you have damaged the lens, there's pretty much no way you're getting it fixed or replaced. But that is not a biggie for me because I can take decent care of my gear. But really, those are the only negatives. The good thing about this lens though is the bulk you can get out of it. You can go up to a maximum aperture of f1.8 and the bokeh you get out of it is just heavenly. For samples, stick till the end of the video. The image quality is also usually quite sharp. If you are an aspiring filmmaker and you have never used a prime lens before, this is the best place to start. I'll tell you why in a second. But just bear in mind since this is a prime lens, the focal length is fixed. What that means is you cannot zoom in and out. That may seem like a bummer at first but you'll get used to it real quick. Ok so the reason why I said this lens is the best place to start is because of its affordable price tag. This prime lens only costs $50 US and really that's one of the if not the cheapest lenses you can buy today. So do I recommend this lens? Yes, 100%. The only trade off in my opinion is the autofocus but I think it's well worth it. But that wraps it up for this video and also this series. I'm now going to throw in some videos taken with this lens so you can judge the quality. But thanks so much for watching, it's been Suraj and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Peace.